All right, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a health bar in Unreal Engine along with the health system to go along with it. So stick around. All right, so the very first thing we are going to do is create a widget for the actual health bar. So right click, go to user interface, widget blueprint, and name this BP health bar, some along those lines. Everyone has their own naming convention, so whatever you like. Next up, we are going to go to our third person character, open it up, and on begin play, we are actually going to create that health bar and display it to the screen. So drag off of this and do create, create widget. It should be right around here. And then on the owning player, drag off of this and do get player controller. And then for the class, select your BP health bar or whatever you named it. Then on this return value, drag off of this and do add to viewport, which adds this widget to the viewport. We have to make two variables for this. The first one is called current health which keeps track of the actual current health of the player and the second variable we have to make is called max health which is the starting health that the player has and this value can be updated like say you pick up a power up and you can now have 200 max health instead of 100 this is where you would change that value and also make sure both of these are floats as well but just click the event dispatcher right here and we are going to name this update health something along those lines and over here on the inputs click this little new parameter right here make this a float name this name the parameter health percent like that and this is the value that we can actually pass from the call to the definition basically it once again it'll all make sense once i actually show you so since this is going to update our actual value in the health bar what we need to do is call this so drag it out and then press call and then it'll make a call function and connect this up in the new parameter we want to put our max health into that now before we go any further, just so this can be more clarification, we are going to head over to the actual widget blueprint. So compile and save this. It's okay, you'll get a error on this. What this error is basically saying is we don't have anything to actually, that's listening for this. So just ignore that error for now. And we can go back to the main viewport and then go to our health bar we created open it up and i'm not an artist so i'm just going to simply make a progress bar and just drag it in you can actually make a artwork for a health bar if you'd like but i'm just going to do this set it to whatever size you'd like and name it health bar and set its anchor point to the center of it so it scales with the screen properly so next we are going to have to head over to the graph of the bar and this is where it can get a little bit tricky because there's event pre-construct and event construct and in some situations you definitely need pre-construct like i'm pretty sure i don't do much multiplayer stuff but i'm pretty sure there's some stuff in multiplayer that does need pre-construct but in most circumstances construct does work fine so i'm going to go ahead and put this in construct for now but if you know you need it in pre-construct then put it there so what we are going to do is cast to our third person character so drag off of this and do cast to third person character right here for the object we are going to drag off of this and do get player character and then 
here is where we are going to fix that error we had over here. We are going to actually bind an event onto that dispatcher. So drag off of your object and search for bind event to update health. There's a lot of event dispatchers, so sometimes you have to type the full name out, but it should be in there somewhere. And now, this little delegate binding right here, we are going to make a function for this. So drag off of this and click add event and custom event and name this update health, something along those lines. And as you notice, our health percent we have right here, which it's titled new param here because of the error, but our health percent shows up right here. So what we can do is we can drag in our health bar and we can get the health bar and then we can drag off of the health bar and do set percent and then drag the executables up and drag this into that. All right, so I hope it makes a little more sense now. This is listening for the dispatcher to be called. So then make sure you compile and save. And if that error does not go away, even with everything hooked up over here, then you can right click and do refresh nodes, or you can drag it back out again, and then compile and save, and it should clear it all up. Because it, it just needs to be refreshed so it can recognize this call. So now if all you wanted was a health bar, then come over here and make sure your max health is set to a value. So set it to like 100 and current health set it to 100. And if all you wanted was the actual health bar without the ability of taking damage, then you can compile and save. And as you see, you have the health bar. It's fully filled up. But if you want the damage system, then we can jump right on into that. This is just a simple health and damage system just to show how the update health works and how you actually are supposed to use event dispatchers. So just for sake of ease, I'm just going to bind my stuff to direct key presses. So I'm going to do one and two just because they show up easy. And off of one, whenever I press one, I want to apply damage and the damage actor will be this or self and then off of this apply damage I need to come over here and do any damage. This is a function inside the engine that listens for this to be called. So off of event any damage I can get my current health and then subtract this by the damage that's coming in and then clamp this value because we don't want it to overfill the bar and we want to clamp it to our max health value so see what I was saying? If this value updates, the whole system will still work fine because it's making sure it stays within that value. And then I can drag in another current health. And this time I want to set it to this value because we're subtracting the damage from it. And then connect this up. And then in order to get the percent, because remember on our update health, we need health percent. We have to divide the current health by the max health. Because progress bars go from 0 to 1. So 100 needs to be 1. And 0 needs to be 0. And 50 needs to be 0.5. So drag in max health. Get it. And then drag off of this and do divide and make sure the current health is on the top one and max health goes to the bottom and this is where we can call our update health once again 
So we can drag it in, do call, plug our value in, that the percent value in, and then connect this execute up. And now our damage system works. Oh, also I forgot to mention on the base damage you actually want to plug a value in there. I'm gonna do 20. I accidentally forgot to do that. So next up for the health region, it's literally the same exact thing. So you copy all of this over to here and on pressed. And then instead of subtracting one, delete that and do add and add 20 to it and set this as the value. All right, so if you make sure everything is compiled and saved, we can head on to the report and test it out. And if we press one, see we lose health and see our health is zero and we can keep pressing one. But then as soon as we press two again, we gain it back. And it's doing that because of that clamp value we have. So yeah, if you found it useful or just enjoyed watching the video in general, then subscribe for more. Leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.